What are your thoughts on Arsenal fans crying that Liverpool won? I saw a lot of Arsenal fans, right, on Twitter today. I'm not going to say all of them, but I saw a few of them basically saying like, oh, this is unsustainable. And uh, I saw one guy, I think it was AFC James, who was saying basically, don't worry, Arsenal fans. We've seen firsthand last year. We know better than anybody that like this kind of wins are unsustainable and eventually they're going to burn out and it's tiring. First of all, I think he said it when he was emotional, which is fair enough. This current iteration of Arsenal and their current iteration of modern fans do not know anything about what it takes to be in a title race. You guys have been here one year. Liverpool have been doing this for the last five, six years. Maybe not consistently, but they've been in the scenario time and time again. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to sound like a bitter Man United fan here. But even when Man United, when Liverpool won the league in 1920, and when they almost won it in 1819, bro, people were saying the same thing about them then. Oh, it's unsustainable. Ooh, the football that they play, uh, they concede a lot of chances. Ooh, they don't, they're not the better team in every single game they play. That might all be true. But Liverpool have shown you so many times under Klopp that while they might not dominate 90 minutes of a football game like Man City do. They have intangibles and they have X factor and they have star players that are able to bridge the gap between how tactically brilliant Man City are and how tactically brilliant Arsenal might be. And they're able to bridge the gaps in games that might end up as a draw for Arsenal. They have the quality and caliber of player that can turn that draw into a win, that can turn that loss into a draw that can turn that loss into a win. Players like Salah, players like Van Dijk, players like Allison, players like uh, Trent, even players like Darwin Nunez, man. Those kinds of players have enough individual quality that even when Liverpool as a team aren't playing well, their individuals can still win them games. So yeah, look, on XG or on field tilt, Liverpool might not be as elite as Man City and they might not be as elite as, as Arsenal. But football's not played on, on a stat sheet. Football's not played on a calculator. At the end of the day, we're more than half the, uh, halfway through the season. I don't know how many games are left. What, 12, 11? And Liverpool are still first in the league. If it wasn't sustainable, they would have fell off already. And that's not to say that they're going to win the league. But very clearly, by match day 38, Liverpool are still going to be in this league title. Like it or not. They've shown you enough times over the last five, six years that when Liverpool, by March, February time, are in a title race, more often than not, they end up at the end of the season still in that title race. It's as simple as that. That's another thing too, right? Liverpool were basically missing their entire, like half their starting 11. No Salah, no Allison. I think Sobotsai played. Who else were they missing in this game? No Trent. Like it's a complete, like their midfield was what? Joe Gomez, Clark, and McAllister. Come on, man. Come on, man. Any other team in the league ha has that many key players out and they're dropping points, bro. As a United fan, who do you prefer to win the league this year? Funny enough, after everything I've just said, I, I would love, not love, but I would rather Ars Arsenal win the league than Man City or than Liverpool. Liverpool, it speaks for itself. They're our biggest rivals. They're the team that... <laughs> Look, their fans definitely don't like me. I know that. I'm fully aware of that. But that's that's rivalry, right? Like, I'm a Man United fan. I'm not supposed to like Liverpool, right? I, I think there'd be something wrong with me if I did like Liverpool. And then Man City, I can't lie. I find it so cringe when Man United fans pretend to not give a shit about Man City. Like, the last few years when they've all been like, oh, City's, City's trophies don't really hit, or City's trophies, oh, who, they're artifice or whatever. I hate Man City. I can't lie. I hate watching them win. I, I hate it so, so, so much. So I've never bought into that whole thing. Uh, and last year, when all these Man United fans were talking about, oh, Arsenal, it's going to hurt more because Arsenal fans banter on social media like the whole time I kept saying guys if you let Man City gather steam this season they will fuck around and go win the treble they'll go win the Champions League and lo and behold they did it so people will talk about all oh, Arsenal fans banter on Twitter uh, oh Arsenal is more of like a cultural rivalry rather than a geographical one that's all bro at the end of the day I can stomach AFC James and Babs and those guys on Twitter talking shit on Twitter seeing Man City basically rip apart everything that Sir Alex Ferguson built in the last 20 years makes me sick bro it makes me sick. So who would I rather win, see win the league? I'd rather see Arsenal win the league, bro.